I'd say the, the three biggest things that most people don't realize about intuition or the things that they skip is they don't listen to their gut, they don't trust their gut, and they don't act upon that feeling. So I'd say just practice that. Start listening to it more, paying attention to it more, trusting what your gut, trusting what you're feeling, trusting what you're sensing. If you walk into a room and you feel a heaviness or a presence, don't just write that off as, uh, you know, maybe it's a coincidence or I'm feeling a little off today or there's something in the room that just sort of a painting or a piece of art that made me feel that there was an ominous presence. No, it's more than that. You're tapping into something that's very real and very powerful if used correctly. So if you trust that and you act on that, that's uh, the three biggest hints that I could give anybody. Listen, trust, act on it. You know, it's as simple as having a strong belief system and making sure that you have something mentally that is going to safeguard you, a strong process mentally that's going to safeguard you. I always sort of envision this white light filling up my myself, my being, and I use that to protect myself. But I also use physical objects. I carry stones with me. Every location, everywhere I go, there are certain objects that I carry with me in my pockets and on my being, ranging from a pendulum that's actually filled with some black salt, a uh, fairly powerful protective element to crystals and other things that come with me. And you know, maybe it's not simply a psychological thing. Maybe it's simply there to sort of be sure that that white light that I'm filling myself with has some physical, tangible element. But I think it's more than that. I think there's, there's power in those items.